It's time for some Python on hardware. Okay, this week I'm going to go over CircuitPython Day in just a moment, but I wanted to go through the newsletter. The newsletter is chonky this week. Yeah, a lot of projects. Um, one thing, so I'm, I'm on the um, Fritzing, there's an RSS feed for their blog, and that's the Updates only- Updates once every year. <laughs> every like few years, but when it does, I'm like, oh. That's a good one. Because <laughs> like, you know, I have like, I think 1,237 feeds that yeah. I kind of keep ambient awareness on. And um, when the fritzing one lights up, I'm just like, oh, what's going on? So uh, after many requests and years of waiting, their words, fritzing, finally got a simulator. So if you want to check out the fritzing simulator, go to fritzing.org, check it out, and uh, look at some of the uh, examples and some of the things that they have. So kind of exciting. Um, I've known folks that have done full on, they've made their products via uh, fritzing. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, circuit simulator. Is pretty cool. We I use a, I use Fritzing every day for our diagramming. We still do. It's it's a great diagramming tool. Yeah. Um, okay. If you want to learn how to make a web server on a Raspberry Pi Pico W, which everyone's calling Picos, um, check it out. And um, the other news that I really wanted to help get the word out on is if you're familiar with Moo, um, or if you just like kind of an amazing approach to programming. Uh, Nicholas Toll, Entol, which is how he's known online, um, is doing an interview with the CircuitPython show. So do check it out. Uh, Nicholas is approach- What's the name we had for like the British people who are like their, their thinkers? Remember he had like this word? Thinkers? Remember he's like, oh, there's like the British word for like people who like tinker and think a lot. Oh I man. Know. I've been called a Muppet, but I know that when no, it wasn't, it was, they didn't mean it in a nice way. What's funny is, um, I think- It'll come to me in a second. I yeah, can't forgot I think word. we had banned someone because they were being mean. Um, and oh yeah, they, and they called us Muppets? And, they called me and I was Muppet. like, I love Elmo. And, and I'm just like, oh, cool, man. I love Muppets. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just like, yeah, you know, I'm kind of like a Muppet. Like, you know, we have puppets and like, and, yeah. but it turns out that wasn't, that wasn't a nice thing to say. Um, I want to say like a badger, but that's not the word. It's something similar. Yeah, I guess mm -hmm. I can look. Um, and then... Um, buffin. A buffin. He's a buffin. Yeah, good. And remember we went, and he, and, he was, and he said, you told us what a buffin was, and we're like, you sound like one. He's like, well, you can't call yourself one. You can't. Other people can call you one. Yeah. But he's a buffin. Yeah, if you... Yeah. I hope he didn't trick me into, like, that's actually a very naughty word. I don't think it is. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to... I want... I'm a Muppet. Um, so the other thing, and, you know, we, we certainly don't mean for our newsletters to be like breaking news, you know, TMZ style stuff. Um, but I think we do a pretty good job putting things in that are good for people that are doing electronics right now. And one of the things is like, well, what should I consider um, either to build my hobby around or like electronic accessories and more? And so uh, Evan, the, um, I don't know what his title is now, but he does a lot uh, at Raspberry Pi, the company and the foundation. Um, I think it was like knighted and stuff too. Um, Sir Eben Upton uh, said they'll probably have 2 million Raspberry Pi Pico W's this year. So if you're thinking about what can you actually get, because we think about that a lot, that's one of them. And we're, we are looking at um, CircuitPython support for that Wi-Fi module. Again, you know, we had to wait until it was released. Um, it's released under a license. We wanted to make sure that we could fulfill that license because yeah. there's obligations uh looks to be okay and we just have to do the work of porting um so it'll happen if anyone wants to jump in and help um we can guide you on it it's uh right now we're just we've already we were already working so hard on yeah. web workflow that we didn't want to put down an existing project to pick up another shiny squirrel uh you know we're already um halfway through this uh, web workflow but if anyone wants to help out with the porting of the wi-fi um code from MicroPython into CircuitPython, uh, hit us up in the GitHub issues. I like your combination of what happens. So like new shiny and then squirrel all at yes. the same time. So shiny squirrel. Well, it's, like a, it's a Pokemon. Yeah, a <laughs> it's shiny like a shiny squirrel, squirrel Pokemon. Um, the other project, uh, if you're you know, an 80s kid, or even if you're not, is um, someone made a kit control panel with CircuitPython. And it's kind of hitting like all the parts of the brain. It's like, ah, uh, nostalgia, ah, uh, Python, ah, uh, you know, that was such a cool car and it would talk to you and it was so nice. And this is like 
Advanced, this is a cool project. Advanced AI back in the day before even people were thinking about it. And yeah. if you think about like what would what would be neat, it would be like Kit, like this friend that's helping you out. You're always getting in the mischief or like you're getting... Well, I like that Kit was a little bit of, tr- you know, a little bit of trouble, a little Michael, smarter. Michael, come and get you. Michael, don't do that. It would yeah. tell him like not to smoke and stuff like, Michael, don't smoke. You know, yeah. At least that's how I remember it. <laughs> um, so the other thing is um, our big event worldwide together circuit python day so august 19th um we're getting ready to post up all the activities but we think we're going to have at least uh, like an hour plus long um show and tell so come by and show your projects yes and uh we'll have some interviews i think circuit python show folks are going to come by and maybe they'll be doing some stuff so keep tuned to the newsletter, the website, um, we're going to have an update on circuitpython.org so we can have like a banner, by the way, so you can see like, oh, here's what CircuitPython day is, here's a countdown, here's... So we're going to just try to even get the word out more and more and more. Um, but we send this newsletter out every single week. Go to adafruitdaily.com and uh, not only can you get other newsletters, but you can get this one. And it's this wholly separate site because we never wanted anyone to think that we would spam them or do anything. It has nothing to do with your store account. It's a whole separate thing. It's all free. No ads, no anything. Unsubscribe anytime. It, we make it nearly impossible to get spammed, um, at least from us. Um, so check it out. And that is Python on Hardware this week.